Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I am sincerely hoping that between gusts of wind, we get to do some playing. And uh, basically, I thought I would spread a little black. And maybe I'll pull out my satin enamel, and maybe I won't. I'm just going to use a Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula and see if I can spread some of that black. Right where it's at. Leave some interesting shapes behind, maybe. Maybe a little bit more over here. I've done the edges of my canvas just with my finger. For a moment, I'm going to use the gold that I love. Hope nothing flows in the painting. Something's in my tip again. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to try and use the colors in the reverse order of the ones I'm timid usually using. And this is a magenta, and it's a golden product when I mix it up, and it's very intense, and I don't use it often enough, and I really want to. I'm going to try and leave my comfort zone just a little bit. I might tilt this for a second just to uh, get things going. We'll see. I really want to use my cobalt looking blue. And it's not a usual color. Whoops, I didn't want that over there. Well, I'm going to. Am I? I thought I checked all my bottles. Guess what? I missed one. That's okay. I'm getting faster at this, I think. So I've got little acetate sheets hanging, standing by. <laughs> but um, more than that, I've got little uh, spatulas that are most likely going to be the thing that I use. So as odd as this looks, and it looks pretty odd to me too right now, I'm hopeful that it'll still turn out to be something interesting. But you can never tell. You can only hope for the best. Unless you've done it before or you're copying somebody. By the way, you guys are welcome to copy what I do. It's the only way to learn, in my opinion. I want some of this. i got to be careful where I put that because it won't work everywhere. So let's go for the blue, oh boy. And I wanted to kind of force myself to do less is more, but I'm not good at that. <laughs> we know that. So why don't I start just by seeing what's going to happen. And if I want anything else in there, and that anything else is calling to me right now, please be open, yes. And I'm going to grab a hold of the edge catcher that's buried under all those bottles and use it. Do I want something else? I don't know. I'm just going to start. I'm just going to rotate it, letting everything sort of come around. Hey, I might like this so much I don't do anything to it again. Should be kind of cool. Although I do like the cells that happen from swiping. I think what I see is that I like my white spaces, so I'm going to just go ahead and add some white into the spaces that I see. Because I can. The name of my first book, Volume 1, is Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link below Show More underneath the video. It's the first blue link. You can find the OXO omelet turning spatulas there that we're not using this time yet. Because this is too much fun. I'm going to go a few different ways while the paint spreads. And I'm going to want to stop and take a picture of this because it's really cool right now. And if I tipped it, 
I don't know, that's just really sharp. I'll be really sorry that I did this if I'm not, if I don't save it. I say that now, <laughs> but you know, I just want to play. So what do I do? I go ahead and I grab the black satin enamel. Excuse me, it's not satin. It's also not in my hand. Um, <laughs> that's not it. Why is it not it? Okay, it's gonna be a second. You can watch that for me. And I'm gonna be looking for something that I found. Yes, finally. All right, so let's be brazen. And I'm gonna put a little gold in there. That's sat there long enough. Let's use some satin enamel and see what happens. I wanted the rounded end card, but I think I'm just going to go ahead. I was thinking about just dipping a card right into the satin enamel, to be honest with you, but what I'm really inclined to do right now is just to put some on the card. and then knock it over the edge. I've been having a pretty good time lately. Composing things. And then using the satin enamel on them. And not all of it, just some of it. I'm just putting some satin enamel on the card and sort of drawing with the corner. And I've also been threatening that I might want to tip something after I decorate it. I see I've got a nice big white spot right there that I want to fill, but I want to fill it with something I want there. Maybe any of the other spots that I see that are still canvassy. And I think I could probably use the white gloss enamel to do the same thing. I'm still having a good time. knock that right off on the edge and then blend it in with my finger just a little bit and I'm very tempted to wipe off my small spatula actually gonna throw that one in the bucket and grab a different one and try the um, yeah there it is right there let's do the round front do I have the round front no of course not um, I'm gonna do this one this is a number two not very wide, which is why I'm using it. And it does what I expected it to do. And it doesn't annihilate all the colors I like. And when it picks it up, I can put them down again. So I'm going to do what I said I was going to do before I do anything else. And let this flow again for a moment. I can see a couple spaces where there's canvas showing. I've got some tremendous cells in spots. Not everywhere. I think I'm going to... Boy, he's noisy. <laughs> Somebody's having a good time on a windy day. neighborhood is not quiet today. All right, so a little bit more black satin enamel. And almost done. I want some white. Do I have it? I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to give it a bit, a bit of a shake. I'm going to put it right onto my spatula with the rest of that color. Ooh, I'm glad I did that. Because that came out slow, troll. 
and I want to wipe it off. And I'm going to try that again. That's kind of cool. Just a little waggle here and there. Did I miss any spots in here yet? I think I'm almost done. That spot is not right. So that's pretty wild. I want to do some more stuff to it though. Blue didn't come out super intense. There's hidden colors everywhere. Some great cells over here. I know if I swiped some more of this, I could get more cells, but I've already pushed my luck and it's very colorful and it's just a nice pattern. I like it. And I got five minutes left, so I'm going to tell you guys whatever I'm usually going to tell you, which is while I'm torching to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And I see a few. And I do sell my artwork. I'd appreciate your thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps the YouTube algorithm sometimes know that I'm worth sharing with other people and I need to be shared with other people which reminds me please share my videos and uh, watching the videos longer is a big assistance to keeping me here at YouTube along with looking at the, the playlists creative playlists on my channel header or on my channel rather under creative playlist duh and uh, that will introduce you to 11 playlists of genres and 10 playlists by the 100, the last one is being populated. So I like this over here, but I think I need a little black to fill in that canvasy spot. And that palette knife is just in my hand, so it's going to get used. Using every method at my disposal, basically. I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you subscribed, and uh, the more you watch, the more likely you are to be able to keep me here. And thank you for that. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. If you would like to help support the studio, and I could use some help because uh, YouTube has decreased my ad revenue by two-thirds, all you need to do is join the monthly contest. It's a $10 minimum. It's not a contest. It's a drawing. <laughs> my editor would be yelling at me now. So in any case, the drawing on the end screens, on the end screens you'll find a video. <laughs> the video is recent, recent artworks in an exhibition and included in that will, it will show you what the latest drawing winners prizes are going to potentially be and there are eight paintings and one of either one of my two books and a lesson in Spring Hill, Florida, if you're local. Cool, it's got a heart. I should just swipe the whole thing. If I didn't like it so much, I would. So I love you guys, and um, I want to do another one of these and throw chain in and all kinds of other cool stuff, but uh, I've got beautiful little cells. I use GAC 800 by Golden to keep my paint when it's thick from cracking as it dries. And uh, my paint pouring recipe is under the video, also with Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. And uh, should you need to ask me a question, please feel free to do so. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if anything that I've forgotten, <laughs> I'm sure that somebody will remind me of some point in time or you'll see it in another video. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard going, that was fun, thank you for joining me. I hope you come again. Check the community board or 
the Facebook group Expression to Start Studio Gallery Pre Appreciation for Students for tomorrow's video. I usually post it the night before. I have been changing my post time to 11, excuse me, till around midnight. And uh, I don't know how long, much longer I'll post at 8.30 in the morning. That's bugging me. Sometimes I like the straight paint pot spots, and sometimes I want to see the cells. So I love you guys, and you know that. I'll talk to you soon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you guys.